Have you started it? I did. <laughs> Hi, on. and welcome to our channel. <laughs> Hi, welcome. So, we have decided to take a day trip to Roanoke, Virginia, but instead of staying like just at any average, you know, hotel, hotel we decided to stay in a caboose. In that. How cool. Inside this caboose. How cool is this? Got a full size bed. It's real nice and cool. The air conditioning right there. Got the little train like lights. Very nice, like the little tiny features in here. We'll be staying inside a caboose. So excited! And then in the back here, there is the bathroom. You got standing shower, little toilet area, and a little wash area there. Very nice. What'd you find? All right, so in here, because it's a bed and breakfast, they have like pre-made egg soufflés to heat up, juices. They've got little sandwiches down in here. And got some waters. All kinds of fun stuff, yeah. Anything in the freeze? Just Freezer? ice. Just ice. Yeah. All right. But cool deal. That's Good. awesome. I'm pumped for these little egg soufflés. Sweet. Nice, yummy. Yeah. We may have some neighbors tonight. It says, welcome to Apple Ridge Farms. We hope you enjoy your stay here. Please be aware that bears have been seen in this neighborhood recently. None have been aggressive. Best to not to leave any food in your cars. Good to know. What was this? So they say a little appreciation gift. They got left a little caboose keychain. So says, thank you for choosing Apple Ridge Farms, caboose, car, bed, and breakfast as your home and away. As a small token of appreciation, please accept this caboose car keychain as a gift to remember your visit. That is awesome. Love That's it. Cool little feature. If it starts raining, I can wipe the window. How cool is that? We were talking with the owners of this place and this building right here that's right across from these cabooses, they want to turn it into kind of like a depot, they said. And they want to put like a deck around here and have a place for people to go across and, and eat inside there and uh, kind of a conference area and stuff. So that'll be really cool once they get that done. So what do you think? Oh yeah, I think them having like the kitchen and stuff here because the bed and breakfast aspect of it, like now you're kind of having breakfast individually, but this way it allows that sense of community. Too. Yeah, so that'll be really neat if they kind of turn that into a depot looking area. That'll be cool. So we're gonna go take a walk around this place and show you all the little cool and neat things this place has to have besides just the cabooses. So at one point this used to be like a conference center. So you can see like the old baseball field here, which is really cool. And down here we got a really cool looking basketball court, which I'll give you a better look at. These old gas pumps, like inside the old gas pumps. That's awesome. So we just talked with the owner of the place, and he said he was really into picking, and so he's not into it so much anymore. But you can see all the stuff he's got here. How cool is all this? What a neat place. I bet this old barn is stacked full of all kinds of treasures and antiques. 
Got some old bikes. Look at that old Dr. Pepper cooler there. How sweet is that? Old sign. Oh, it's stacked. Is it? Yes. Look at all these license plates and stuff. I just peeked in the window there, and it is stacked full of cool stuff. You can't really see through the glass there with the camera, but man, it is awesome. It is loaded with cool stuff in there. What a neat place. So the nice old man who owns this place just came back and is letting us in to the barn with all the cool antiques. So let's go check it out. Oh, okay. And, oh, um, you see right here? Up, up here. Yeah. But, um, oh, look at that Amico sign. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Oh, it's meant to be yours, then. Have, yeah. Yeah, it's but I, I collect colors. I don't have and things North Carolina okay. are, um, are big deals. But, um, yeah, it's hard to find. Sun Drop is a glass. It's hard to find anything in glass bottle anymore. But occasionally, because um, I grew up in a super small town in North Carolina. Um, so our day trip <laughs> is about over. You can see that it's getting a little bit darker here. So uh, we're going to wrap up this video of our stay at the caboose here in uh, Roanoke, outside of Roanoke. So about a week or two ago, we made a video talking about why we like Airbnb better than just staying in a regular hotel. And I'll, we'll post it right up here. And our stay here today sums up exactly we, everything we said. Yeah. Like everything that makes Airbnb just so. It's about the experience. Yeah, just something I mean, new. So like staying in this caboose here is, has been awesome and, it, and it's something we'll always remember. But what's been better about just this caboose here is we met the owner of this place. His name is, is Peter Lewis. And the, and the actual name of this place is Apple Ridge Farms. Um, and we'll post all mm -hmm. the information down here below. And if you have a chance, if you're watching this video and you're like, man, that looks awesome. You need to come stay at this place. This place is like, they set this up as like an educational camp. And so they have these cabooses here as you know part of their little Airbnb way of making money. But the whole setup and the story behind this place is just awesome. And like you saw in the video, this guy, um, Mr. Lewis here, he showed us like, you know, like he's a pig. I, I love if you watch if you're watching our channel and watching these videos. I love we love the antiques, antiques and just finding the cool stuff. Yeah, and just having that. <clears throat> the, we really spent like an hour or two with him today, and him showing all our stuff. You, you're not going to get that at staying at you know the Holiday Inn or no. The he's Marriott. just a genuinely sweet man who oh, has just very an much yes eye for picking and just like well just his story was cool awesome stuff. yeah everything about his whole like story was really cool so so if you have a if you like say if you're watching this video and we'll put there a link down here too if you've never stayed at airbnb where you can get a little money off on the stay too um so the, that'll help you with staying i highly we highly recommend this place oh yeah it's been an amazing experience all right so real quick if you do stay here just a couple things one there is no TV inside, so oh, yeah. um, so make sure. Like, luckily, I brought my laptop with me, so we're able to watch just a little bit of something. You know, you know, before we go to bed here tonight. Um, uh, you know, there is a little air conditioning unit in there, um, but like it was fairly warm today, and it took a while to cool down. So if if you have like a, well, I I was hot. I thought it felt fine, but I'm gonna say you may want to bring like a little house fan if you have something like that to just help keep things cool a little bit. Was there anything else about anything in there? No, like really, they have a fridge and they have a little coffee banker and they've got a toaster oven and a microwave and they've got a really yeah. big spacious shower with towels. They have a hair dryer, ladies. The, um, oh, the other thing is, like, if this place is a little bit remote. Um, so, it's a lot of it. yeah. So, it, it, it literally, we're like almost 3,000 feet up in a mountain. So, um, which is cool, but it's like it's a little bit remote and it's a little bit of a hike up here. So, it's about 30 minutes outside of Roanoke. So, um, but it's it's really like, nice. Like hit up Target or Walmart or whatever you need to before yeah. you come. Make sure you bring a few drinks with you and stuff yeah. like that. So because there's really the closest place to eat or anything like that solid is solid thirty minutes. Solid thirty minutes away. Yeah, yeah. We're getting like closer and closer to our face every time with that video. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't want to forget. Uh, so when we were at, uh, looking at the Mr. Lewis's antiques, he very kindly uh, gave us a few things while we were there and. 
So you get, it's like, you may have seen they had like the old bottles. So there's that RC Cola one, which is super awesome. The Pepsi Cola one is just super cool. And, um, and then what's the name of this one? It was like Sun... Suncrest. Suncrest. So yeah, so like you just gave that out of the goodness of his heart. So like, I can't say, come stay. Can't say enough about yeah. the experience You will here, not regret it. Was, kind it was like, is. what, 140 bucks? 140 bucks for the night. Yeah, yeah. like... You ain't gonna get a better experience for 140 bucks for st staying somewhere like this. And if you're a hiker and that kind of stuff, there's tons of trails. Oh, like tons of trails. Pack up yeah, shoes, that's another like, thing. Bring bring shoes because yeah. like we had sandals on. So and there's trails and we would love to have hiked it, but I didn't realize they had all these hiking trails here. So yeah. So that is it for this trip. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all those things. And until next, until our next travels. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Bye. Be good.